Hi everybody, so this video is looking at uh, transcription factors in general fairly briefly and then specifically at the role of gibberellin with transcription factors. So transcription factors are usually proteins um, and they're proteins that are involved in eukaryotic cells that help to either initiate transcription or sometimes to inhibit transcription. So unlike in prokaryotes, we don't have an operator region, we don't have operons. So the transcription factors are the way of a cell, a eukaryotic cell, controlling whether or not a gene is expressed. So if you have a gene, then just upstream of the gene, we have still in, in eukaryotes, we have promoter regions. And the transcription factor will bind to that promoter region. So transcription factors will always bind to the DNA uh, somewhere above where the gene is. Um, and sometimes there's one transcription factor involved, uh, but often you have more than one transcription factor. So here we can see two transcription factors um, that sort of bind to each other, but they're also both bound to the DNA. And then when we've got those two in place, it's called the transcription complex. Our RNA polymerase molecule is then able to bind to the transcription complex and when that happens that means that transcription can occur so it's you know it can be quite complicated how this works there's lots of different possibilities sometimes you might need lots and lots of transcription factors all involved at once and it means that the cell um, can have a really um, detailed level of control over whether or not the gene is expressed or not so lots of different things might need to be in place um, what we're going to look at now is the role of gibberellin. So gibberellin is a plant hormone. Um, there are some other videos about how gibberellin works and what it's involved with. It's basically a plant growth regulator. And one of the things that it does is it helps in seed germination. And it's involved with the expression of the gene for amylase. So what you can see here, um, so this is our gene. So it, for example, uh, let's say this is the gene for amylase. And this molecule here, PIF, this is a transcription factor. So the transcription factor at the moment is bound to the promoter region. And that means that the transcription of the gene, transcription of the um, amylase enzyme is able to take place. However, there's also another molecule involved called DELA. Um, and DELA is also a protein and it is able to bind to our transcription factor. Now DELA itself doesn't bind to the DNA. So DELA is not a transcription factor, but it is involved in the process. Now when DELA binds to the transcription factor PIF, it causes changes in the molecule, uh, which means that it's no longer to bind. Oh, sorry, yes, also DELA is a repressor protein. So DELA is going to be involved in preventing transcription. So as I said, when the DELA repressor protein is bound to PIF, then PIF is no longer able to bind to the gene. And that means, of course, that transcription cannot take place because you need that transcription factor bound to the DNA so that the RNA polymerase is able to bind and transcribe it. So the, the PIF transcription factor is now not bound so the, uh, the amylase gene is not transcribed. So gibberellin, the role of gibberellin. So this is the active form of gibberellin. When we have the active form, it's able to bind to a receptor. So this is a gibberellin receptor. Only the active form of gibberellin is able to bind to the receptor. And once we've got our gibberellin bound to the receptor, that like whole complex is able to bind onto the DELA protein. And that then initiates a few different things, which ultimately results in a complex of enzymes being able to break down DELA. So the details of that are not important, but the important thing is when you've got gibberellin and gibberellin is bound to a receptor, DELA gets destroyed. And of course, if DELA is destroyed, there's now nothing stopping PIF from being able to bind to the DNA. And now that PIF is able to bind, transcription of the gene takes place. 
So the presence of our gibberellin allows PIF, our transcription factor, to bind, which means transcription happens. Just be aware, you know, I haven't included the RNA polymerase in this molecule, but of course the RNA polymerase would be important uh, and would have to bind somewhere in this region here. Um, and then the RNA polymerase is what would transcribe the gene. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. That's all. Thank you.